In case of eruption will blow all of North America and doom about half of the world to slow death is starting to wake up. Can't we do anything about it? First, let's decide on what is a supervolcano. It's nothing like a regular volcano, a cone-shaped formation with a vent. It's more of a huge depression with the eruption area covering a few thousand square kilometers. For instance, a supervolcanic eruption on the Indonesian island of Sumatra caused six years of sulfuric acid rains. Add to this the dust clouds blocking the sun for quite a while, and you will get a picture very similar to nuclear winter. The supervolcano left no more than 10,000 people on the entire planet. Nowadays, there's also a threat of volcano eruption. There is a supervolcano in Yellowstone National Park, USA, at the height of 2,500 meters. Until recently, it has been considered dormant. On the outside, Yellowstone National Park is covered with a picturesque landscape. Well, on the inside, it is a vast valley filled with molten magma. For thousands of years, magma has been filling huge underground reservoirs, melting rock, becoming so thick that volcanic gases causing eruptions in regular volcanoes can't escape. Thereby, upward pressure from gigantic subsurface molten magma bodies make the surface of the Earth begin to swell. That lasts for hundreds of thousands of years, until the swelling explodes. According to scientific data, the period between supervolcanic eruptions constitutes around 600,000 years. Based on that, we are bound to witness the next cataclysm. Originally, researchers scheduled it for 2075, but in summer 2003, strange things began to happen in Yellowstone National Park. The ground temperature rose to the boiling point. There appeared fissures releasing hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, volcanic gases contained in magma. These factors led scientists to believe that magma had escaped from its chamber and is reaching the surface at the speed that has increased by several times. Due to that, the time the volcano was believed to erupt was changed by almost 50 years. While magma is at the depth of 10 kilometers from the mouth of the supervolcano, it's too early to worry. But as soon as it rises to 2 to 3 kilometers, we'll have serious grounds for concern. And we do have grounds for concern. 2003. Norris Geyser Basin is closed for tourists due to increased volcano activity and high water temperature. 2006. The land in the park is found to be rising 10 centimeters per year. 4th of March 2014, the White House ordered the U.S. Geological Agency to restrict access to the information on earthquakes and gas emissions. March 2014, bisons and elks abandoned the park. April 2014, the water temperature in the lakes rose above 20 degrees Celsius. According to scientists, in case of explosion, the picture will be more dramatic than that of apocalypse. It will start with the land in Yellowstone National Park abruptly going up and overheating. And when the immense pressure bursts, caldera, the resulting mouth will erupt thousands of cubic meters of lava that will resemble a column of fire. The explosion will be accompanied by massive earthquake and disastrous lava flows spreading at the speed of hundreds of kilometers per hour. The eruption will last several days. However, people and animals will primarily die not from ash and lava, but from suffocation and poisoning by sulfuretted hydrogen. By this time, the air throughout western regions of the USA will be poisoned so much that humans will last no longer than five to seven minutes. Researchers do not challenge the fact that Yellowstone Giant will trigger the eruption of hundreds of regular volcanoes worldwide. Furthermore, the eruption of volcanoes situated on the ocean bed will generate numerous tsunamis, which will flood coastal areas and all island countries. What will follow can be described as volcanic winter. The U.S. President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology has come to the conclusion that it will be impossible to rescue the entire population. A few months' time before the explosion, we'll see the evacuation of major scientists, military servicemen, high-tech experts, and billionaires. Millionaires are very unlikely to escape due to insufficient space on the Ark. Even now, there are millionaires who are getting rid of their property and moving to the Eastern Hemisphere. Such an Ark will presumably be the African country Liberia. That's where the passengers of the Ark will try to hole up for several years, in an underground bunker. So, when will the supervolcano erupt? Nobody knows for sure, but that will be quite a sight. Do you know how to survive a supervolcano explosion? Write your answer in the comments below. If you liked our video, please push